hi guys uh, today we are going to uh, start uh, we are going to learn how to schedule schedule restart the windows server without administrator password and how to offline maintenance your application and load like a uh, lotus domino database yeah oracle database okay uh, so first i need to take a two exe file from a uh, server itself I have made a fo a one folder, restart folder, okay, and uh, put it the uh, two exe file, service exe file and the shutdown exe file. Bo both exe file I have taken from my computer. Go to Windows System 32, System 32 folder, then search services this file copy this file okay copy this file and uh, rename this file service service second one shutdown.exe as of you shutdown.exe both file just copy and uh, put in your folder which you uh, which you are going to make it in uh, C drive folder okay so first I need to create a, a, a batch file just open this open notepad okay like I have make a command line this is a command line this could be help you to uh, stop this uh, application service and uh, put as a uh, manual I'll check services dot msc I'm going to service application service lotus terminal service currently is a started mode okay and uh, this is the uh, automatically so this uh, this task will show you start th this uh, yeah this patch file this uh, command line will be a stop your service and put it in the man manual and save this file save this file save as go to all file and uh, put it uh, desktop and uh, like uh, command command one dot ex uh, uh, dot batch okay and save it so this command will be saved in on desktop okay this is also coming here so this types of I have make it this uh, uh, command line for one set and I'm going to set to set to is uh, that actually is not required because uh, it's going to shut down the server so I'm going to set 3 restart 3 this is the offline maintenance this is the offline maintenance for uh, uh, f for our uh, applications okay this is offline maintenance you can note on this uh, command line okay and uh, this this command line to restart the ser your server automatically after 25 seconds okay and uh, save this file and close and third one is uh, 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 how to set the schedule schedule uh, scheduler task uh, in your server this uh, this command line will help you see you start service.exe auto schedule automatically schedule net start schedule cmd 
the time frame is the time uh, currently time is 10 a.m. 10:40. So suppose I'm going to 10:50. 10:50. And the second one will be done. 10:30. Mm, 52. 52 a.m. And today is a Thursday. Today is th Thursday. As for uh, uh, command line uh, th for Thursday. S for Saturday, 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 S U for Sunday, 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 M for Monday, T for Tuesday, W for Wednesday. This is the uh, Basically, uh, command line to for uh, schedule this uh, uh, day as per the day. Like uh, I have to run this uh, schedule every Thursday. So it's been uh, th th is a Thursday, and time is a uh, am. So put it the and the command line is a uh, one. So we start one. We start one. This this uh, uh, exe this uh, batch file will run first, and after that. After that, uh, third uh, third restart will be done. Third one is this one. Only two. I uh, have make a three batch file, but it will run only two. Okay. Uh, like uh, I have put it in a forty. Uh, forty five. Forty five. Forty five a.m. 48 a.m. 48 48 okay and save this file and close so I'm just going to control panel administrator tool schedulers Sunday 2 is uh, running, so I, I need to delete this one. So this uh, task I have run previously, so it was this operation was successful. So I'll show you this VAS to you also. Okay. So I have deleted this uh, scheduler task and then go to exe set batch exe only this batch file need to be run no other uh, a, a batch file to run a, a other batch, batch file will be run automatically ok open that one and it has been completed and press NET ok so I need to go to scheduler again and check is uh, schedule task is created or not create click on refresh yeah is now created it's showing ready uh, 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 agent is ready and agent 2 is ready schedule task 1 is ready and schedule task is ready uh, this schedule task no need to uh, put any administrator pass it's, it will run automatically without any user uh, administrator pass required ok uh, it's showing Thursday every week uh, starting as 3 pm ok uh, 9 5 to 45 am so currently uh, 10 Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Currently, server time, uh, system time is 10 45 am, so I need to delete one. Delete one. So I set a scheduler task again. It's showing 1045, 10, 1048 a.m. Save, uh, save, run. Okay.
Small save. Under the face. So the robot will turn here and now turn. Now it's showing 10.45 and 10.48. So I'll wait for 10.45. When 10.45 will come, then uh, currently is showing a started. Currently our task is showing a started mode. So after 10 10.45 I will check what could be the taken act action has taken. Now uh, 1045 is uh, happened, so I need to check the services. The services is stop, you're not. Currently, it is showing a started mode and automatically. So I have uh, given a command uh, for first, uh, it service will be a stop and uh, it will be on a manual mode. Okay, so I will put uh, rephrase this command so that service is a stop and it's manual. So uh, now this scheduler task is working. So nothing can do and it will restart this your server after two minutes after three minutes okay thank you for watching this video and please subscribe our video i will uh, for next update thank you